Hi, my name is Soki Bob Martin. I'm the Chief Instructor and Founder of Unified Force Martial Arts. I've been training almost 50 years. And today I'm here to give the Silver Generation some information on how to protect yourself and defend yourself against street violence. Ready to go? First thing we're gonna do is show you how to go down to the ground. If you're knocked down, particularly if you push back, how do you absorb the impact of the ground so that you don't get hurt and you can still defend yourself? Now, squat down, put your chin in your chest, and you're gonna smack near your side as you roll back. Yeah. Let your body roll, don't come up. That's pretty good, come up. Get your chin in your chest, Put your butt close to the ground. And then when you can't anymore, roll back. There you go. Let yourself roll forward. Mm -hmm. Very good. I see you got the kick ready there. You have to understand certain things about the body dynamics, the psychological things of dealing with street violence. And one thing you need to put into your head is that they have to give you something to get something. Nudging is just moving your body, moving your joints. No matter how strong a person's grip is, once you start wiggling, it's a constant readjustment that they have to make. Okay, guys hug the ladies. Now, ladies, I want you, whatever part of them is touching you, I want you to move it, move that joint section. Remember, this is just, this is just an exercise. But you see where your hand is? Open your hand. There's the eye gouge. It's already there. Another thing we're going to do is deal with fear. You know, fear can freeze every muscle in your body, or it can give you superpower strength. And the way you deal with fear is to accept it and use it. Be, let your fear become anger. Walk towards me in a very intimidating way. See, I'm backing up. You feel powerful, don't you? Mm. No, right? There's a certain feel. Yeah, that's yeah. human nature. You feel powerful. Now, I want you to pay attention to how you're feeling. Do the same thing again. What happened then? I changed, I made him change direction. I took some of his power away just by changing my bodily direction. I step into one side or the other. So I'm redirecting as I move. These are all sort of, again, it starts up here in the spirit, then it works its way physically. rubbing off or cleaning off the ants, or cleaning off the ants. And what I'm doing is I'm cleaning ants off my body, not with just my hand, but with my whole arm. I'm just, or rubber dub, we call it. One of my students used to call it rubber dub, he's showering. So while you're doing all this very sporadically, you look like you're having a fit, but what you're actually doing is becoming more effective in your defense and or offense because it's hard for a person to get a good grip on you and your elbows are flying all over the place. I want to use my whole arm as I'm doing this, not just the surface of my hand, right? You ever try to pick up a little baby they don't want to get picked up? They're flailing, right? So act like you're having a fit, rub the ants off your body, walk around. Frantically, frantically. This motion, if you look, what do you see flying around? My elbows, yeah. right? So by thinking about cleaning, biting ants off your body, go, walk around. I'm trying to grab her. She's brushing and striking at the same time. And the other thing too, if Catherine's trying to grab me, 
by my arms moving, I'm brushing away things. I'm brushing things away. And then this becomes aggressive. This becomes aggressive. And I'm still just cleaning ants off my body. My finger is kind of weak, right? It's a weak part of the body, but it's like an iron rod going in somebody's eyes mm. or rolling up somebody's nostrils. Wash your hands when you get home. Remember, if, do this. When I grab you and your hands are here, all you have to do is start using them from that area as well as like you said, the groin, you kick him in the thigh. But look where your hands are. Now just slide them up and look at all that area that it can cover. Mm -hmm. See, they expect this is a defensive posture. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to thank the folks for participating. And remember, we're gonna have more episodes of simple things you can do as a senior citizen, as a hip silver to protect yourself on the street. Thank you very much. Thank you.